Kitchen. I'm Mary and today we'll be making double chocolate banana muffins. This is a favorite snack for my boys and uh, when you've got bananas that you need to use up and instead of just your regular banana muffins, let's add some chocolate and some cocoa and that'll make it delicious. So I'll just show you what you'll be needing. Um, you'll need white flour. I also have whole wheat flour, but if you just want to make them with white, that's fine. Um, I have cocoa, salt, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, and vanilla. Uh, the bananas, obviously, chocolate chopped up, or you can use chocolate chips, honey, and an egg. So let's get started. So we'll start with the bananas. I'll put these in my KitchenAid and it'll just smash them up. Obviously, as you probably know, the brown of the banana, the sweeter it is and good for muffins. So that's why it's good to use up bananas for your baking. So I'm just gonna put this in my KitchenAid, let it mix up, mash up, and then we'll put together the dry ingredients. from the website show me the yummy um, so I've just done my own uh, little tweaks to it so it does call for one cup of uh, white flour but I'm just gonna um, mix half and half white flour and half uh, whole wheat so we'll put in this is the white and half a cup of whole wheat and then you need half a cup of cocoa, which the cocoa I will sift in the sifter. So I'll just measure this out to half a cup. That's good. And I'll measure out the other things I need to sift. You need one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. teaspoon of salt. So I'll put the salt in. And you can also add cinnamon if you like the extra flavor of cinnamon. So I'll just add a touch in there, about a teaspoon of the cinnamon. So I'm going to add this, whisk it all nicely. And then we're going to continue with our um, wet ingredients. So we have uh, the bananas in there already. I'm going to add one egg. So I'll crack that in there. And then the recipe does call for three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, but instead of using sugar, I'll be substituting with honey. So we'll put in uh, half a cup of honey because I find that honey is sweeter than than the brown sugar so um, we'll just use half a cup and then to give an extra bit of moisture we'll substitute with a quarter cup of uh, yogurt it's just plain yogurt I hope I have enough honey it's running out okay so I'm just gonna let this run here We'll put in our quarter cup of yogurt. Uh, I'm just gonna eyeball it, quarter cup. There we go. Back on the stove, I have some butter that was melting. Three table, uh, six tablespoons of butter which is basically a third of a cup. So I'll add my 
butter in slowly, not to cook my egg. I think we're just going to use the rest of this honey because it's pretty much done. So maybe to top it up, I'll use a little bit of maple syrup also. So I'll just get some maple syrup. I try in a lot of my baking not to use um, refined sugar, so I try to substitute with either honey or maple syrup or using dates as well to sweeten or other fruits. So in this one, instead of the sugar, I use honey or maple syrup or other sweeteners that you like to use. Okay, so now we have all of our wet ingredients. I'll mix in there. So we'll add the dry. As you can see. Now once you add your dry ingredients to your wet ones, you just want to mix it until it's combined. Don't mix it too much because then you have tough muffins. Uh, I'm just going to add the chocolate in with my dry ingredients. So that'll be all mixed at the same time. So I chopped up some dark 70% 70 70 dark chocolate, um, and it's about half a cup, but you can throw in as much or as little as you like. And then we'll just mix this until it's combined. So these are gonna go in a 425 degree oven, which I already have heating. So 425 degrees uh, for five minutes, and then turn your heat down to 350 and bake for an additional 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, so that's pretty much combined. So, now's my least favorite part, spooning the batter into the muffin cups without making a mess. And trying to do it quickly enough because, well, this is boring to watch, probably. So it should make 12 muffins. I could have saved some of the chocolate to sprinkle on top. You can do that or use chocolate chips and just sprinkle on top. This is a favorite snack for my boys to have or a dessert that they can enjoy and there's good ingredients in it. So I'll just finish this up and when it's ready to pop in the oven, I'll give you a close up. Here are the muffins all ready to pop into the oven at 425 again for five minutes and then reduce your heat to 350 and for 12 to 15 minutes longer. So I just took the muffins out of the oven. They're all done. They look delicious. They smell delicious. I know that they'll be enjoyed by the boys. They might not last until tomorrow. So. I made them just in time for when they come home from school. So I know uh, that they'll enjoy that for a snack when they get home. If you like today's video, please like and subscribe uh, so you can come back and see what's happening in Mary's kitchen. Until then, may God bless you with his love, joy, peace, and good health. Bye-bye.